Today, I'm going to be playing the most expensive Hearthstone deck that's ever existed, courtesy of the newly released Prince Renathal, which allows us to start the game with 40 health and 40 cards in our deck. So that means for the first time ever, we can play a deck that has 40 legendary cards. And at 1600 dust apiece, this is a 64,000 dust deck. Now you might be saying some of those cards are in the core set, so they don't actually cost dust. To which I would say, shut up. I ended up picking Priest for this deck because it was the only class that really seemed like it had a playable quest. And it's also got some pretty decent cheap legendaries with Serena, Najak, and Zyrella. There really aren't that many legendaries in the game at the moment. So you kind of just have to go through and click on all of them that aren't terrible. But it turns out when I did that, I ended up going five and three. And the three losses were probably all flukes because my opponent's decks weren't nearly as expensive as mine. Also, while I have your attention, please, please scroll down and subscribe to the channel. Because as you can see, I am now in debt. Could definitely play an early Finley. Might help deal with the board against aggro druid. Could find life tap against a slower druid. I think it's just pretty nice. I would of course rather draw a two drop, but not super likely for that to happen. Bubbler. Uh, oh, I got the sick opener. Check this shit out. Bam, bam. Bam. And we got a life tap. Let's go. This is an opener. Man Crick on curve. And then we can play Okani on curve. And then hopefully we will have found a two drop by then, but I wouldn't count on it. Well, for sure not picking spell. Well, unfortunate. My Okani dealt one damage. What if I just hit him with the behemoth? I'm just gonna beat them to death. Still need a two cost. How sad. Rest not Wait, why didn't they take two damage when they hero powered to draw a card? That's unfair.
Samuro is actually, like, kind of decent here. Oh, Olgra is also pretty decent here. That's a board clear. And I'm at 40. And I have 5 minions in play. And my hand is better than yours. Unless you have Kazakus on, then your hand is probably better than mine. Couple of two ones. Well, they did get a minion with real stats off of the Bronze Explorer. Run back is kind of sick. Alright, let's see what you got off the Explorer. And Nixia is probably the strongest. But I would simply counter it with... Oh god, I only have 9 mana next turn. Uh, maybe I bounce it with Vol'jin and then deal with it the following turn? I don't know. How many 2-1s do they have to trade off here? Maybe Mr. Smite just kills it. Mr. Smite does not just kill it. <gasps> 2 mana, and it's actually sick. Probably just go 2-5 tap. I could go Brand Serena, but I don't think it really does much here. Hey, that's a good 5. Better than Lyra, that's for sure. I actually don't have an 8 currently, and Zyrella is also the best card here. Oh wait, I need a 6 too. I wasn't offered a 6, was I? I think it was uh, Finley and Phelan. How do I need a 6? Shouldn't have played my Mida. Surely you can't get too much off that. Wow. You got Living Roots off Caligos? No, don't auto-cast. I want to pay six mana for that. Unlucky. Murazond? Does it give me a full 412 Halle? It's kind of sick. I can answer that very easily. Do they have a Serena in their hand? How did they get Serena? They must have done something that copied my Serena. Oh. Well. Oh right, that's only a 1-3. I was scared when I shouldn't have been. Uh, well, I think I just play my Lady Prestor here. She does hit the mana cost I want. Three three Anixia is pretty sick. Do you have the artifact? Can play Anixia Smite next turn, maybe. Oh, this Mr. Smite is buffed. I forgot some of the stuff was buffed by Renthak. Interesting. Oh, that's pretty sick. Them harm the 
Oh, they can deal five here. A 2-1 Sleepy Dragon? How pathetic. I actually don't know what Zyrella does off the top of my head. Talon. Oh, Double Mita is pretty good. I think it's just those. But that's pretty good. I feel like a Nixia Mr. Smite is the play. I probably should be more concerned about pushing damage, because I definitely could still lose this game to Kazakasan. But it's more fun if I play for board and try to win with Purified Shard. I do have Life Tap to find the shard and Brand to shuffle an extra copy. Oh wait, if I have to play Zyrella to finish the quest though, then I might not have Life Tap. And there's their Kazakasan. Alright, this might be getting a little bit sketchy. Maybe I just need to slam a Neptulon in play here. Oh god, their Brasswing is killing my Mr. Smite. That's annoying. Composting to draw treasures. Could bounce one of those with Vulgin to not let them draw. I think I just need to play Zyrella here. Hopefully this doesn't make me overdraw. I don't think it does. I guess I should have led with Sleepy Dragon if I was concerned about that. Fragment, Fragment, Talon, if I'm not mistaken, is all that's happening here. I think I'm fine overdrawing here. I might just be getting slammed with treasures here. And I am only at 30. That's not super comfortable. Okay. That wasn't so bad so far. It's also nice to get a big board in play so I don't get embered. They have pure cold and big silence thing. Holy book. Okay. So they have both silences. I guess there's also a weapon silence, right? They have the big silences and... Uh, I literally already forgot what the other one was. Sheer Cold. Puzzle Box. So they only have one I'm not aware of, and that's a really good draw. Alright, so at any point I could just top deck Lethal. And I have two of them in my deck. And two of these cards are Fragments, so 2 out of 15 for lethal. Show me your final Kazakas card and make sure it's terrible. Which ones are even terrible? They all seem kind of good now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, Wand, sure. Just play something that's like kind of big but still dies to Neptulon. Oh. Well, that does die to Neptalon, but it sure is scary. So they have Silence. Well, that's a top deck. Oh, man. I think I might have been in trouble there. Because if I had to play Neptalon, they could have copied it. Would have been kind of scary.
a two and a three to go with my quest, say no more. I think the dream here is they go turn one ple uh, peasant so I can Serena it and kill it. Well, not the dream, but still pretty good. Doggy Biscuit doesn't even really deal with this. Oh, okay. That's fine. In fact, I would say that wasn't even that good. Alright, can we top deck a 4? I think 4 is the mana cost I play the most of. I play 7 of them, if I'm not mistaken. My blood boils for war. Not a 4. But it is tempo, at least. And you never know when another copy of Bran Baron's beard might come in handy. We're going on a dangerous voyage. Oh, I wish I had a Phelan. I think I just want tempo off this. Maybe I want healing off of it. Let's go healing. Don't mind if I do. It's good on board, and it hurts their win condition. And it costs four mana. So let's try to find a five or a six. Well, I can play Okani with Bran, maybe. What if I can Finley into that Sunken Saber? Blackwater Behemoth is a beast, right? I think that's the only beast I play. It's a pretty darn good one, though. Not that good of a Nokani, honestly, but they are forced to trade into it, which is nice. Does Zyrella do anything? Oh, she puts another Sunken Saber on the bottom of my deck. Which is... just bad, I think. Wow, they really let something get countered there? Probably didn't realize it was Bran O'Connor. That's just a Jaren Saber, right? And the 2 2 from uh, Naga's Pride. Thanks, friend. That. That's a big fat heal. Hey, five. That's quest progress. I play four sixes, I'd be happy to see any of them, even if uh, Reno is not super necessary. You watch your staff oh, can I draw my Beast Stalker Tavish? Didn't want a hero power first for a Leoc. As if Leoc was ever an option. Okay, Mutanus is the seven I need. Do I want to just play Zyrella here? 
She doesn't do anything, but she gives me a good hero power. And I do play a good handful of eights in the deck. I think all she hits is Najak and Ajar and Saber, which aren't really relevant at all. That would suck if hitting the jack there gave them an Ajar and Saber because that's what I stole earlier. The hands attack instead. So if I run Neptulon into a freezing trap, it should bounce one of the hands instead of Neptulon. But I guess I would just always rather play an Ixia, right? Alright, this is fine. Oh, does the Nixia get to make another immune attack? That's kind of sick. I'm really, really tempted to brand me Tannis here, but I don't know. It seems like the cards in their hand aren't that scary. Let's just play Neptulon, I think. Rat King? I guess that kind of makes sense with, like, Naga's Pride. Maybe Devouring Swarm as well. Rat King's actually kind of cute in that deck, but I bet they would have preferred hitting Sunken Saber. Six mana card. That's what I wanted. Um, oh, I do need an eight, don't I? Well, they kind of dealt with the board a little bit. What does this card say? If you have 15 health or less. It would be better in this deck if it said if you have taken 15 damage or more. But also, if I'm at 41, I probably don't need Block Alar. Oh, I was thinking about going Brand Mutanus at some point, and then I was disappointed their hand was so small. But uh, I can actually just go Bran with this Zyrella, right? That's probably even better. It would have been pretty sick if they got a chain of Sunken Sabers into Hydralodon. But no such luck for my opponent. Honestly deserved for only playing 30 cards in their deck, I would say. Alright, need to play my 7 here. But I really want this to die. I guess I can hero power along with my 7, so that's fine. Oh, I was just about to say that could very easily be a King Crush. 
I think this might be a concede before the purified shard comes out. Okay, that probably is the best draw on their deck. Ozumat. Ozumat. Wrong order. Unless they have some sort of plan. What if I play Mirazond? I just get this 4-3, but it summons other 4-3s or a Behemoth. What if Mirazond is sick here? I mean, they do just have this Ozomat. Maybe I need to deal with it. I can go, like, Lakalar, kill Huffer, and Ozomat. Oh no, I just had a terrible realization. The secret they have in play is Ice Trap. Well, that's okay. I'll just go Brand Zyrella, and we'll use the first Purified Shard to bait for the second Purified Shard. I also can get a spell from Archdruid Narilex. I could get a spell from Mancrick, and then Finley to add Olgra to my hand. Get a spell with Elise. Okay. I do have some ways to play around things. And wow, that's a good draw. Is it the best draw? Maybe. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, wait. I guess I hero power that guy. That's gotta just be hitting... Oh, they do have Phelan Beasts in deck. I forgot about that. They did play this from their hand, so Murazond is pretty good here. Probably just play Murazond. I would love to eat their behemoth, but I don't think it's a big deal if I miss. I go up to 35 either way. Going face. And there's a little Finley. Probably never getting played when I have Void Spike. Uh, I think it's Bran Zyrella time. Oh, I probably should have used my hero power in some better way, but that's okay. I do have two uh, purified shards, and actually I've had two sunken sabers, so Reno is not active. Very unfortunate. Oh, they can't even deal with my Bran here. Doesn't really matter at all, but they can't deal with it. What if I put a bunch of garbage on the bottom of my deck? That'd be sick, right? Could have still been explosive, I think, maybe. I don't know. Well, Talon might actually just win the game because it draws Alexstrasza, which if Bran survives, Alexstrasza does 16 damage. <laughs> 